There are ice, fire, and lightning dragons. Each type has four different colors. I'm going to take on every single one of them. In total, that will be 12 stage 5 dragons that I have to defeat. How many dragon eggs do you think I'll have at the end of this episode? Also, every time I die to a dragon, I will have to burn a random valuable item. So my friend found a stage 5 lightning dragon right below us here. There it is, the first stage 5 dragon. Okay, so me and my friend came up with a plan. We're going to split up. I'm going to go around the corner and shoot the dragon from this side. This way the dragon has to decide between one of us. Okay, never mind. My friend just aggroed the dragon and he needs help. So I'm gonna run back to the other side. Okay, that was the dragon's wing. Let's just step back here for a bit. Oh man, I can't leave my friend alone. He's only got diamond armor. He's gonna die real quick if he gets struck by the lightning dragon. Screw it, I'm going in. Okay, so the dragon escaped. This actually makes this even harder because fighting a stage 5 dragon up there is way harder than down here. It just went up here to take a nap. Well, it is a lightning dragon and it's daytime, so makes sense. They are nocturnal. Okay, I'm gonna get in position and we're gonna start shooting at the dragon again. Oh damn, you do not want to be hit by that. At best I can take one, maybe two hits with the current armor I got. Ooh, the dragon is defeated. This is actually quite an accomplishment for me and my friend because his bow only has power one. That is nuts. And here he is looting it. Oh, I didn't even notice he died. We've defeated one out of 12 dragons. 11 more to go. We've cleared out this cavern. And when I say we've cleared it out, I mean we actually took everything. You never know when you need this stuff. You're right round, baby. Right round. Like <laughs> While searching for the next dragon, we found a ferrous rock nut. Ooh, there's an opening. We gotta go for it. Now I'm just looking for the last opportunity. And there it is. One more hit. And it's down. I can actually to hit this big boy. Oh, dragon sneak attack. Oh, you better run. Okay, my bow should be able to take it down. All right, that was close. I mean, my friend would not have survived that attack. We've spotted another lightning dragon. You should be able to see it on the map. Nice, it's an electric blue one. If we defeat this guy, we will be able to cross another dragon off our list. All right, we're ready, so let's go. He shot me in the back. Dude. Okay, the dragon is coming awfully close. Let's get, let's, let's distance ourselves a bit. What you're seeing here, that's what you don't want to happen. Because once they break out, it's harder to defeat them. Oh my god, he almost got struck by lightning. Now that was really lucky. He's probably a one shot by a lightning dragon. The dragon escaped to the surface, so we'll have to chase it down. Alright, I found it. Let's see if I can take it on up here. And that right there was dragon number two. Only 10 more to go. This is the first time I came across goblins. They are some noisy little dudes, aren't they? Here we see a wild German crusader trying to tame a horse. But the horse doesn't like him. <laughs> I chained him to the wall. I never knew you could chain people. Ah, damn. Now he's chained me up. Alright, we gotta stop messing around and find dragon number three. So, we're actually gonna split up now. I'm gonna continue the search for dragons. And my friend is actually going to look for a location for our new base. When I see you again. Again. Whoa. I gotta stop that. I'm back at spawn and I met up with H-Bomb. He's one of the subscribers that got on my server. Stick around to the end of the video to find out how to join the Pandas SMP. So he's actually giving me a lift right now. I don't have a dragon yet, so he chained me up to him and now he's gonna fly off with the dragon. Okay, this is new and very weird. We've landed here on this island and he's currently trying to get his dragon into his dragon horn. Seems to be working out pretty well. Alright, so thanks to the lift, I'm further away now. There should be some undiscovered dragon caverns over here. Finally got another one, as you can see on the map. This looks like a fire dragon cavern. We still got four of those to cross off, so that's pretty good. Let's find out what color it has. And it is bronze. Oh, I already waked it up. Okay, that's not optimal, but we can make it work. Let's go. And another big one is down. Now remember, I only have power 3 on my dragon boat. Imagine if I had power 5. These guys would drop like flies. This was dragon number 3 and that was the first fire dragon. 9 more to go. So I decided to visit my war base. And every time I come back, there's something new here. I didn't even show the coordinates and all you guys found it. So I gotta be more careful with my real war base. Ooh, Dream sent me some wings. That is dope. Now I can actually fly around. Just gotta get some rockets later. I discovered a dungeon while trying to find the next dragon. But I don't want to go through it alone because I have 
have no idea what to expect. So I called German Crusader as backup. Yeah, it turns out it was a pretty simple dungeon. It has a couple of traps, a few spawners, but uh, that's pretty much it. And of course, a little bit of loot. Okay, so we've looted this dungeon, so I'm gonna go back to finding some dragons. Our very first ice dragon has been located. All right, what color is it gonna be? It's silver. All right, without further ado, let's just jump in. That was dragon number four. Eight more to go. You know, sadly, all the dragons that I've found until now have all been males. So no additional dragon eggs yet. I still got one silver dragon egg from a previous episode. You can really find some interesting stuff walking through all these caves. No way did I just found a totem of undying in a mineshaft. This is sick. Now I actually got some security. We're at mineshaft number three. They all look really unique. I found all these mineshafts, but I haven't found another dragon. This could take a while. A lot of time has gone by and I wasn't lucky in those caves. So I returned back to our new base that my friend built and now I'm going to craft some rockets so I can fly around with the elytra. Hopefully that will get me to a location where there are a lot of dragons. This is definitely a lot faster than walking. We landed in a rainforest. These tropical biomes are so pretty. I'm just gonna check if there's a cave nearby and then go down and see if we can spot any dragon caverns. Perfect, we've got a ravine over here. This should get us to the correct Y level. There's one right here. There's a dragon cavern right here. This was perfect. This is exactly what we need. Okay, this is a fire dragon cavern. Let's see what color it is. Hopefully it's not brown because we already defeated one of those. Oh, it's a red one and it's already awake. All right, here we go. And the red one is defeated. Now we have defeated five dragons so now there are seven more to go and it was another male wow, so there was five dragons and not one of them was a female so still no dragon eggs but i got a feeling the next one will be a female after some exploration i found a gorgon temple i think we paid a gorgon a visit gotta put on the blindfold so we don't get turned into stone and there she is let's just jump right in Nice, now we got a Gorgon head. This could be useful. Oh, I've actually got an idea for this head. Oh, 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 do you see that on the map? Yes, another dragon cavern, finally. And it seems to be a fire dragon. Okay, so we've defeated two out of four fire dragons. Only two color fire dragons are left. It takes so long to find a dragon cavern, so let's hope we found one with the right color. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's reveal the color. And this one is another bronze. Oh, that is not what I wanted to see. You know what? We can actually use the Gorgon head that we just got before. I've never used this on a dragon before, so let's see what happens. Oh, this looks dope. We got a dragon statue. Well, that's one way to get rid of dragons. I wonder if I can take this statue with me. I'm using my Silk Touch pickaxe and maybe, just maybe, we will be able to take this fire dragon statue with us. Oh my god, it actually dropped. Can I place it? Oh, this is sick. There's definitely gonna be a use for this. Okay, so we still got seven more dragons to hunt. That up there actually looks like a zombie dungeon. Oh, there's a lot of zombies here. Ooh, you know, you could turn this into a great XP farm. I'll probably turn something like this into an XP farm just like I did with the skeleton dungeon. That could be very, very useful. Then we could use rotten flesh and trade with villagers to get emerald. All right, this is definitely on my to-do list. Basically, this whole video, I'm just strip mining searching for dragons. Of course, you don't see it, but uh, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Oh, yes, finally. There is one. Wow, we're surrounded by a lot of water. Okay, wait, is this fire dragon cavern visible from the outside? That is unique. Normally, you only see ice dragon caverns in the ocean. Why does it have to be a red one? Oh my god. We found four fire dragons and only two different colors. All right, I'm just gonna quickly take care of it. Yeah, oh my god, this guy just dropped real fast. Okay, the only reason I'm not skipping this dragon is because it's a female. Finally, we found a female dragon. Hopefully, it will drop an egg, and it does. We got a bronze dragon egg. So, this is now our second dragon egg. Wow, there's an underground mangrove system. This actually looks sick. I don't know why, but I love it when there are plants on the ground. I love just exploring the world. I mean, look at this. This is an amazing biome. Look at all these tropical fish. And besides all these tropical fish, there's this mine shaft. I've decided to upgrade my armor. My helmet is almost broken, and the other parts of my armor don't really have the best enchantment. So I want to create the best possible armor I can right now. In order to do that, I will return to a base at spawn and I'm gonna use their villagers. Well, I definitely need to get myself some of these blocks. Not gonna lie, we've got some great builds on the server. Here are the villagers. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly enchant all of my gear.
my armor is now maxed out. Besides Dragon Steel, this armor is the strongest one there is. I'm kinda in a sticky situation right now. Oh, this is not good. When it's taking that long to eat in Golden Apple, then there's massive lag. Ooh, we're kicking it down. Okay, yeah. There was literally nothing I could do. Even though it was due to lag, at the end, I will have to remove a valuable item from my inventory. Luckily, I died nearby. And there is my lifeless body. I just hope I don't have to remove something very, very valuable. Now that my internet connection is stable again, I'm gonna take revenge on that dragon. I'm just gonna go straight into it. Full on with this sword, right into it. Okay, I just knocked it off. Oh, there it is back. Okay, for some reason, it's it's attacking the Stenfalin bird, not me. Okay, now it's targeting me. Hey, don't run away. Come back. You started this. You started this. And I'm gonna finish it. Okay. Fighting at the cliffside is not that easy. I just gotta make sure he doesn't grab me and then throw me off the cliff. Just like that. Alright, it's done. We got our revenge. Let's continue exploring, shall we? So I'm back at the war base and I just received another gift. So basically he gave me this to let me know that he's on my side. That's a smart move to be on the stronger side in case war breaks out. Wow, that's one hell of a gift. I'm not gonna use any of these items until I get them myself, but I'll keep them in reserve. The search for dragons is taking longer than I expected. So I'm gonna ask if anyone has two netherite ingots so I can craft a dragon seeker. Nickel actually has some for me, so I'm gonna meet him at a base at spawn. Nice, now can I actually craft a dragon seeker staff. This tool helps you locate a dragon cavern. To use it, you just have to right click it while you have it in your hand. And based on whether there is a dragon nearby, it will make a different sound. The one I have is the weakest one right now. And sometimes it gives me false information. Like it makes a sound even though there's no dragon nearby. So uh, it's pretty balanced. And this time it actually kind of helped. We have found our second ice dragon. Let's just go in and take it down. The key is to have punch two enchantment on your bow and then just keep the dragon at a distance. That's pretty much the safest way to defeat a dragon. This one is a big one and it's also a female so probably gonna drop an egg oh nice now we can add a blue one to our collection we've defeated six dragons now so six are left we're halfway done no breaks in between i've got the location of another ice dragon as long as the dragon is now white or silver we're good to our luck it's blue cue the epic music Blue ice dragon is down, so only five more dragons to go. Since it's a male, I'm gonna smelt some sand and get some glass bottles. This way I can collect dragon blood and not waste the dragons. Let's craft a couple of these. Usually we get about nine bottles from the big dragons. And yeah, seems to be the case here. Oh, no, we actually got ten. These ice dragon caverns just keep on coming. So if this is a sapphire, we will have completed every ice dragon. No way, it's actually sapphire. Oh my god, we can actually complete all ice dragons. And it's also female. I wonder what kind of colored eggs it's gonna drop. All right, let's get it. Oh, how much I love this bow. You can easily take them down as long as they don't get too close to you. And this one is going to drop a white one. Nice, now we got many different dragon eggs. All ice dragons are defeated, only four more dragons to go. It's taken me a long, long time to find some new dragons, so I decided to buy some coordinates off of some other players. You've seen me fight a lot of dragons, so now you're gonna see me defeat the last four dragons. How many more dragon eggs do you think I'll get? We've now defeated every single dragon, and now it's just time to loot them. Okay, all dragons are looted, and now it's time to remove one valuable item because I died once. I'm just gonna randomly move around and choose one. Oh my god, no, I just chose lightning dragon blood. Okay, at least we don't have too much of that, so it's not that painful. Now, if you'd like to join the Pandas SMP, leave a comment with your Discord username and the hashtag Dragonslayer.